what's up everyone i've sort of been filming this video for like two days now um let's be honest i've definitely been having some trouble keeping up with my youtube content i've been feeling a bit uninspired but i'm still trying to get some stuff out so even if the next few videos are vlogs i hope you um still enjoy them just because vlogs are um the easiest things to film stuff like that but I am trying to come up with more sit down videos too. So I do have some things to show you in this video. I'm still waiting on some of them to be picked up from the post office. But I did get a few things from H&M when I went to the mall. So I'm going to show you those things I got. And I'm going to go make some lunch. So I'm going to take you guys along for that. Um, I know I've been slacking a bit on here, but I have been trying to keep up with my TikTok and Instagram as well. That's why I'm um, having a little bit more trouble posting, but I hope I can um, get everything figured out soon and be able to post on all three platforms. So I'm going to show you my outfit. Okay, here is my fit today. I have these ripped blue jeans on um these ones are so these ones are definitely my favorite jeans i have right now these are one of like the only jeans i have right now that fit me really well um to be honest i am not 100 percent sure where they're from because i've had them for like two years probably but i know they were pretty cheap and then this um like tan tank top is one of the shirts i got yesterday this shirt was only seven bucks and it's really good quality and yeah it's just a nice basic and then this green cardigan maybe from H&M also but I did not get this yesterday that's why I don't really remember but yeah it's just this like army green sort of color and it's cute and then I'm just wearing my mom's Burks. so yes I'll show you the other H&M items a little bit later Okay, I'm back in my room. Um, I wanted to show you guys the other things I got from H&M. I just got two other things. And I could have left it on the hanger, I guess. The first one is just this plain black t-shirt, which was also only like seven bucks. And and I got this in, in a size large, and it fits really well. Um, it fits just like this shirt. Like, it fits nice and tight and cropped, which I like. And yeah, I got that shirt, it was cheap. And then I got, I've sort of been looking for these, like they're in H&M's like clearance section. So they were a bit hard to find. I couldn't find them at one store, so I went to a different one. Obviously I'm not wearing these like in daily life. I got these like, oh my God, you could, they look crazy on camera. I'll show you up close. So they don't like look that purple on camera in person they look more black with purple sparkles but that's the like color and so they're these like purple like purple flares oh my god the flare isn't really showing on there it is they're like these purple flares i thought these would be so perfect for festival season i mean if i ever get to go to a fucking festival but gee these pants were on clearance for seven dollars 6.99 they're originally 24.99 seven dollars they're so cute they fit me so good that's all i got at h&m but i am slowly growing my festival like clothing eventually i do want to get like a clothing rack and hang all of it on there i don't have enough stuff yet but hopefully i will soon i have been collecting some pieces though but yeah that's what i got from h&m they were all seven bucks, seven, seven, seven. But yeah. Hi, I know this is sort of like poo lighting, but today's March 10th. Today, like right now, the Life is Beautiful Music Festival lineup is supposed to come out. 
And just let me give you my little two cents. I found this festival in 2019 in around April and usually their tickets go on sale around April. So I found them like right when tickets were going on sale. I was actually in Dominican Republic, or not Dominican, I was in Cuba when I found this festival. And like I instantly fell in love with it. And I've been wanting to go for like two years now. Like I wanted to go in 2019, but then I found it when the tickets were like about to go on sale. It just what didn't make sense. Tickets aren't cheap. Um, then 2020, COVID hits. I can't go. Um, and then this year, like last year it got canceled because COVID everything. This year they are announcing the lineup this year and they are selling tickets. And they're right now planning to go forward with it. Um, I don't know how long that will last, depending on the pandemic. A part of me wants this lineup to be bad, so then I can be like, it's fine, I can wait till 2022 to go. That's so bad. But if the lineup's good, like, I'm literally gonna be heartbroken, probably because I can't go. Like, I want to go so bad, but just, like, the sacrifices and that I'd have to make and ask other people to make to be able to go I don't know so I'm gonna look up on my computer their lineup first initial reaction it looks sort of smaller than usual but okay headliners Billy Eilish Green Day and Tame Impala my mom I literally fucking told her what if Green Day is a fucking headliner I don't think a lot of it's my type of music but um headliners are really the big things like Billie Eilish and Green Day are the biggest things on here um it does make me feel a bit better because it makes me feel like it might not be as worth going the only thing that does make me sad is that Billie Eilish um like the other thing that makes me sad is that this is Billie Eilish's second year in a row at Life is Beautiful. So it makes me think like maybe she won't be there next year. That makes me sad, but even if I don't get to go again this year, maybe the fourth year's a charm and I'll get to save up money and build my festival collection, stuff like that. So I, I shall turn this way because the better lighting, but I made a smoothie. Smoothies have definitely been my jam lately. I definitely get into phases where I just love smoothies. I just get like the bags of fruit from the grocery store. So this one is raspberries, banana, pineapple, acai, and blueberries, I believe. Yeah. And I just use like half water and half milk to blend it up just because milk makes my tumbo go gray. So. It's so good though. I've had like the same smoothie like the last like three or four days. I'm back and I finally got my Amazon stuff that I can show you. Okay, the first thing I got is this milk frother so I can uh, experiment, try and make some better coffee. There's what that looks like. That's the first thing. And then the next thing I have this big box with oh, it's writing on it. Yeah. First thing is this. I'm trying to stay out of that glare there. First thing is I got this little coloring book. It's called Coffee and Animals Coloring Book. So I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun to have, especially for when I'm bored. Oh, this is the, oh yeah, this is the other thing I got. I just got this laptop sleeve. It was like pretty cheap. It was like 15 bucks maybe. I just got this laptop sleeve. Hopefully my computer fits in it. So I got this laptop sleeve just so for when I'm taking my laptop to school and it doesn't have to be just jammed in my backpack. It fits good. The last thing I got, it better not be freaking broken. Okay, so next thing I got is this set of four travel mugs. I got two sizes. There's this one, which comes in black. And there's also a smaller one that's black. And then there's a small green and a big green. So I don't know. I just thought these would be good 
for uh, school and in the morning uh, if my friend picks me up for school like I was taking tea um, last week and I had to bring it in a mug so this will just be better and these were pretty inexpensive too I think maybe like 25 bucks at most for all four like I picked the cheapest ones and they're glass and they have these cute little things so that's all I got from Amazon but I'll have everything linked below if you want to go check it out uh they were really good prices for everything I always get the cheapest shit but um but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon bye